Alright, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. Yes, Ariel, back at you with another lesson. So we want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Harakak, Wadash. Double honors to all the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Sanitations to all the sincere Kim. And we want to say, rise up to the house of David. Rise up, house of David. From rags to riches. From rags to riches. From, from amnesia to conquerors. From rags to riches. From amnesia to conquerors. From sick to healthy, from poor to wealthy. Kala Yahweh Bashim Yosha. That's how you could describe Yahshua Allah, the princes of the power. That is us. You know, because there has no people on the planet Earth been through what we've been through. And I'm talking on every single level you can imagine, man. I'm talking about emotionally, physically. You know, we need to think about the thing, the plight, the plight of our nation man going back into history it's too many things to mention man you know the Jim Crow was one of the worst times the castration and the lynching obviously the um the transatlantic slave trade but now too the exploitation the psychological manipulation the lying deceiving of Esau the wicked in the planet you know father of the lies you know, estranged from the womb. These people are estranged from the womb. So yeah, I'm out here, just getting on my arm. Just taking in a bit of fresh air away from the concrete jungle. It's a nice day today. Let me let me do a little thing, a little walk and talk over here. Giving glory and praises to your worship. So from rags to riches, from amnesia, which I done that video yesterday. From amnesia to conquerors, from poor to wealthy, from sick to healthy. That's us, man. You could describe us like that. So we should we we have to give ourselves we have to give glory to the most high, first and foremost. And you know, for that for the fact that we're continuing to do this work, man, say yes. You know, all praises, man. Big up to your whole Bashim for giving me the spirit to do this video too, you know. So, let me bring out some precepts, man. Let me set, set the camera down in order for me to bring out some precepts. We have been through, there's nothing, no nation on this planet that could claim, which they like, there's others that like to claim, you know, you hear about the plight of the Irish, you hear about the plight of the Amalekites, you know, the outfit and all the, the concentration camps, they wanna they wanna try and compare. They wanna try to compare what they've been to for what we've been through. But there is no comparison. There is no comparison. Yeah? So let's bring out some precepts to back up my statement. Because we're not pulling these things out of thin air. This is not being made up. This is from your whole way, whole show himself. Just set up, let me just set it up. Yeah, let me bring out some precepts. Rolling in the spirit. Kala Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. So we're looking in that, you get into the time now where, you know, this is the time where I put prefer I prefer the sun I prefer the melanin the vitamin D like I prefer to feed my vitamin D this is that time we're coming into yeah yeah this is the year of hasting the day of your whole by Shimura Shai coming into May now and the year is flying forward the year is going forward fast your whole ratas are we, we get to get out of here this year man I'm, we're gonna keep pushing the vibration anyway so 1 Samuel 2 and 6 says, The Lord killeth, he maketh alive, he bringeth down to the grave, he bringeth up. The Lord maketh poor, he maketh rich, he bringeth low and lifteth up. Uh, like I say, from rags to riches, from amnesia to conquerors, from poor to wealthy. 
So that's what I'm going to title this um, video, From Rags to Riches. The Lord maketh poor, he maketh rich, he bringeth low, he lifteth up. He raises up the poor out of the dust. He lifteth up the beggar from the dunghill. He set them among princes to make them inherit the throne of glory. Right. We're coming into that time now. Yeah, we've been through all that. We can, you know, the things I've mentioned at the beginning of this video, the things I've mentioned, we've been through, man. We're coming to the time now where he's raising us up, the poor out of the dust and lifteth up the beggar from the dunghill. You know, even now he's still got a lot of bug outs among Israel. That's okay. You know, for, for a lot of us came out of that wicked this wicked system this wicked plight so it's going to have an effect you know even even for some of us that have been in his truth but he's rising us up the poor out of the dust and lifteth up the beggar from the dunghill he set them among the princes you understand yes Shadrach, Misha, kind of Bendigo, Daniel you understand the the dream interpretate the dream the interpretator of dreams which that belonged to Yahweh Shai but he used Daniel to do that yeah, also Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego, you know, they um, set them in the lion's den that they never get burned. Yeah, Daniel in the furnace too, where he was always delivered. There was among princes, there was among kings, but the whole, but the most high Yahweh, I wish I used them to magnify his name via the, the dream interpretations. You understand? Set them among princes to make them inherit the throne of glory. For the pillars of the earth are the Lord's. And he hath set the world on them. Yeah. So, here's another precept, you know. Because, yes, from rags to riches. And he's, we've been there, done that. we got the t-shirt. And a lot of us can actually say, say that. Individually and collectively as a people. We have been there, done there and got the t-shirt. And I say that in all humility because it is true. Daniel 9 and 12, and he says, He hath he and he hath confirmed his word which he spoke against us and against our judges that judged us by bringing upon us a great evil. Yeah. Everybody knows about what we've been through. You know, it's documented history, the transatlantic slave trade, the, 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 the lynching, the castration. The shooting down to this day in the streets it's all documented history and that is um that um george floyd that is um that is world renowned that is world renowned even people of other nations are talking about it yeah the um the chinese are talking about it you know and the the, the russians are talking about it you know how can you claim human rights and freedom yeah, you, they're saying about you Americans, how can you claim to be for human rights and freedom and for justice when you're killing your own people out there in the streets? You see, that's coming back to bite you now. You know, and he's just one that has been brought out into the limelight, into the mainstream media. But for every one, there's a hundred others that the most high, that the, the media hasn't brought forward. But your whole way, I will shy, has got them. It's all documented up there in the heavens because all the sins of the wicked in this place, Babylon, has massed up to the heavens. So you think that it's gone under the radar? No. The ones that you've heard about, the killings, the, the Dante, Dante Wright and all these others, Trayvon Martin, Mike Brown, uh, Celesto Castillo, and all those that are documented that are in mainstream media, for every one there's a hundred of us that are not in the mainstream media. All their sins are massed up into the heavens. So there has nothing, and he hath confirmed, Daniel 9 and 12, and he hath confirmed his word which he spoke against us and against our judges that judge us by bringing upon us a great evil. So it's all prophecy. For under the whole heaven hath not been done, as have been done unto upon Yahshua Allah, upon Jerusalem. That's us. So you can't claim, you can't claim anything. You don't, you, you ain't got no claim to fame. Yeah, you Amalekites, that outfits. Yeah, what you've been through. That's why you, you don't want to, you don't want that to come out that that's a fraud so that you, because you don't want your, your welfare to stop going over, over to you. The welfare that you're receiving over there in Israel. 
because you're nothing more than identity identity thieves. That's why the most I brought that judgment on you, man. 45 or no, in the stampede. The most I brought that on you. That was from that was from that was a divine judgment from on high. Yeah? That was a divine judgment from on high. The most I judged you. The stampede over there in Israel. That's that's your judgment. That's for you. You know, you're in a land where you don't belong. You damn thief or no? Yeah? You're fugitive or no? So that was a judgment. So you can't claim, you can't claim this. This this precept blows it out of the water. So when you see us, some people walking around, acting all out of character, I'm talking about the Jakes now, Yashu Allah, the two thirds, we, we understand because, because of what they've been through, man. They're still traumatized. They're still traumatized. As I mentioned in my previous video, they're still suffering from amnesia. You know, trauma, trauma is one of the causes of amnesia. You know, head injuries can cause amnesia. Extreme alcohol, alcohol, al, alcoholism, <laughs> if I could say it. Extreme alcohol can cause amnesia. Extreme drugs. Yeah, you push the drugs out there. You push the drug to Israel. Yeah, you push your drugs. You, you leave your drugs in. You, 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 you was the one that pushed the arm. Um, the crack in the 80s and the 90s, yeah, you pushed it all over, you pushed it in, the, in, in, in England too, you know, in America, in all the states in America, to try and do away with Israel. So that's all part of it, yeah? That's why you see a lot of us today, even this generation, still bugged out from that pandemic of the drugs and the trauma that we've been through, all the things we've been through that no other nation compares to us so I understand why the nigger woman is the way she is, yeah? I understand why the nigger man is the way he is. Quite frankly, I don't give a damn because uh, the nigger woman, and the, I, I ain't got no investments in none of them. I don't, I don't have no investments in, investments in none of them. If, a, if, if, you, if you put money in a bank that's going down, that's going bankrupt, you're going to be worried, you know? But you see, the most I said that there will be two thirds that are going to have to be destroyed. So we don't have to worry about the nigger man or the nigger woman because that is their lot. They're in their lot. Yeah, we have to tell them their judgment. Yeah, we tell them their judgment. But we know why. Because it mentions it in Daniel 9 and 12. They had to go through this great evil which has spoken against and against our judges that judged us by bringing upon us a great evil for under the whole heaven and the whole whole heaven hath not been done as hath been done upon Jerusalem. So there were a lot of people, a lot of Jakes, that's why they bugged out, that's why the most I have to bring them um, to be euthanized, put to death in other words. Euthanized is the needle that puts them to death. And that's why they got this pandemic. This is all this is all prophecy. That's why they got this pandemic. Yeah? They're throwing the kitchen sink. They're trying to get rid of the two thirds and the wicked yes the wicked of our own people and all their own um, uh, collateral damage also. They don't care about all the collateral, all the others that are being judged as well. Because they don't care, they will kill out of 10, they don't care if they kill one, they'll kill one of their own to get to 10 of ours, you see? They don't care. So, when you see them walking around like that, we ain't, we ain't shocked, we ain't surprised. The two thirds I'm talking about now, we ain't surprised. And if anybody has an excuse to be mad and crazy and to act crazy, it's Jake. It's Jake because they're the traumatized people on the planet. So we, you know, you look at them, you look down your nose at them and you judge them and you see what they're doing on the mainstream media, which is all, which is all, um, is all um, to demonize Jake with the rapping, that's all planned anyway. Getting them to have so much trauma in their ghetto by putting guns in the ghetto for them to shoot them one another so that if they get a chance to get, get out and sell out to sell their souls, most of them would take it. So you use that, you, you're coming at them with so much different angles, they're crazy. And they even sell their souls to get out of the ghetto, you see? Because there's nothing, no, there's no other nation that has been done upon Jerusalem. My, my people, you see, this is the wickedness of UEs. 
So it really is all going to come back to you ease anyway. Even though a lot of them, a lot of them are bugged out and are wicked. Most I said is going to judge you too anyway for, for what you've done, how you dealt with them. Even the wicked of our own people. You ease are still going to be judged for it. Even though it was judgment from on high. So, yeah, the most I brought that upon us, but, but still. We're coming out of it now, he's rising us up out of the Dunhill. Yeah, from rags to riches. Let's bring out some more precepts. This is what I'm... Um, Let's go to Ezra, you know, wipe some of the copies of, of the book of Ezra, chapter 6 and 21, it says, And the children of Israel which were come again out of captivity, and all such as had separated themselves unto them from the, from the filthiness of the heathen of the land, to seek the Lord God of Israel, did eat. Because, yeah, that's what we've got to do now. We need to, we need to talk about... Um, and the children of Israel which were came again out of the captivity of all such we're coming out of the captivity even though we're still under the yoke right has had to separate himself we're separating our, uh, ourselves which you can't it's impossible to do that on a carnal level but we can do that spiritually by rejecting all the abominations the wicked foods and, it, and the wicked foods the the um abominable foods like the shrimp, the lobster and all the crab, the bottom feeders and the swine which is all bad for you anyway that's how we can separate ourselves yeah had separated themselves unto them from the filthiness of the heathen they're the filthiness of the heathens so if you have to deal with them you know when it comes to business you have to deal with them you know in, in and out, in and out, in and out because we, we don't want them as no friend we don't want them, it's not my, them, it's not, them could never be my friend yeah According to Sirach 12, um, Sirach 12 and 10, never trust thine enemy. Yeah? Ecclesiastes 12 and 10, never trust thine enemy. Them could never be my friend. We're separating ourselves from them. And we don't like them anywhere. We don't like them, car. Them don't like me, so me don't like them. You know, no matter how much them want to hide the rust, the rust always comes to the surface. Second Chronicles 20. And six says, and he said, O Lord God, our fathers, art thou art not thou God in heaven, the rulers, not thou over all the land, over the kingdoms of the heavens, and in thine hand is there not power and might, so that none is able to stand, is none is able to withstand thee? Art not thou our God? which did drive out the inhabitation of this land before thy people Israel and give us it by the seed of Abraham thy friend forever yeah he did that with uh, Joshua you know uh, one of my mighty men you know my role model Joshua Moses coming out of the land of Egypt he drove he drove out the Egyptians he separated us from the Egyptians and also he, he separated us from the Philistines with David too yeah, Joshua, Moses and David, these are all deli great deliverances, documented history. Art thou the God which did drive out the inhabitants of this land, 2 Chronicles 20 and 4 and 7, of this land for before thy people Israel, and giveth it to the seed of Abraham, thy friend forever. And also Lot too, you know, uh, coming out of the... The Sodom, Sodomite them, Sodom and Gomorrah, and he, and he burned them with fire. He only left um, Lot and his, and his two daughters, man, and his wife had to, she had to taste, she had to taste some fire, because she looked back. So these are great deliverances, you see. Again, I say it, man. Yeah, doesn't matter about the amnesia. We had it. Yeah, doesn't matter. We're poor right now. We know we've been there. We've done that. But it's rising us up from rags to riches, from amnesia. To conquerors you understand from paupers to kings and priests and all former royalty so it doesn't matter what it looks like let's get another precept second Samuel and 22 and we start from 44 it says those 
Thou also had delivered me from the striving of my people. Thou hast kept me to be head of the heathen, a people which I knew not shall serve me. Right. So the heathen, you're going to serve us. All you heathens, you're going to serve us. You see? It's all, it's all by design. We had, we're, we're here right now under your yoke. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. You see, thou also hast delivered me from the striving of my people. Thou hast kept me from the, kept me to be the head of the heathen. We're going to rise up right in your, this very land. Yeah, according to um, Isaiah, the book of Isaiah, I think is free. Yeah, for the for the place they said they will not, uh, they are not my people. They 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 that same self place. They're going to acknowledge that we are the people of Yahshua Allah. A people which I knew not shall serve me. Yeah, the strangers shall submit themselves unto me. As soon as they hear that, they shall be obedient unto me. Yeah, when you start to see, you're starting to see what's going on now with the so-called um, um, UFOs, unidentified aerial phenomenon, the chariots of Yahweh Shem Yashai. You're going to soon have to acknowledge the power that is above you and far superior to you. Your military technology is less than a worm, less than a worm. Because if he describes Israel as worm, fear not all my little worm, he describes Israel as worms. What are you, the heathen? You're even less than a drop, a drop of a bucket of water. You see, so you're very low. Strangers shall submit, you're going to submit yourself unto us. To serve me as soon as they hear, they shall be obedient unto me. When you start to see the power of Yahweh you Shemir Shai, you're going to, you're going to you're going to collapse at the knees. 2 Samuel 20, 2, 46 says, Strangers shall fade away, they shall be afraid out of their close places. You see? And they shook even now. They shook. Strangers shall be uh, fade away, and they shall be afraid out of their close places. The Lord liveth, and blessed be my rock, and exalteth be the God of the rock of my salvation. It is God that avengeth me and bringeth down the people under me. And he that bringeth me forth from mine enemies, thou also hast lifted me up, up high above them that rose up against me. Yeah, from low to high, from rags to riches, from amnesia to conquerors. He that lifteth me up on high above them that rose up against me, thou hast delivered me from the violent man. Therefore I will give thanks unto thee, O Lord, among the heathen. I will sing, I will sing praises unto thy name. He is the tower of salvation for his kings, and show mercy, and showeth mercy to his anointed, unto David, and to his seed forevermore. Let's bring another precept, Leviticus 26. You get, you, you get where I'm coming from? This is, this is the time where we're coming out and we're separating ourselves from the heathen and the heathen acknowledging that there ain't nothing less than, less than a drop of a bucket of water. Le Leviticus 26 and 45. And they're going to bow down, come down with their heads bowed down. They're going to say, put shekels on us, please, we can't take it no more. Put the shekels on us, the torment is too much. You're going to be begging for slavery. But I will, but I will for their sake remember the covenant of their ancestors whom I brought forth out of the land of Egypt in the sight of the heathen that in the sight of the heathen that I may, might be their God I am the Lord so he's calling us out now rising us up and lifting us up out of the dunghill separating it he says he's, he's, he's brought forth out of the land of Egypt I will bring you forth out of the land of Egypt in the sight of the heathen, right in the, in the front, in the very eyes, that I may be their God. That I may be their God. I am the Lord. So they're going to have to acknowledge who the superior God is, and this brings out it brings it knocks the ball out the park. This one. This is Second Chronicles 16 and 24. It says, "Declare His glory among the heathen; His marvelous works are among all nations." Yeah, He's our God. But you're going to have to acknowledge that he's our God and that you're inferior. Your gods are also inferior, as it goes on to say. Declare his glory among the heathen, his marvelous works among all nations. Fear, 
For great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. He also is to be feared among all gods. For all the gods of the people are idols. You hear that? For all the gods of this people, the, the heathens are idols. But the Lord made the heavens. So yes man, he's going to give the whole earth back to us because the earth was made for our very sakes. Yes. The earth was made for our very sakes. And I didn't, when I said that, I never, st I never started. This earth, this earth, this earth, all what you see around here, that's been given into the hands of the wicked, has been made for our sakes. And we're going to take this earth back. You understand? Why? Because we are the rightful rulers. The Most High gave us this earth to take care of. And what you're doing to the earth, is you're sticking your two fingers up to the most high. You're sticking your two fingers up to the most high. The way you're treating this earth is a mockery and a, and a wicked joke. It's a joke how you're treating this earth. The earth has been given unto the hands of the wicked and we've, what you've done, you've, you've nothing but polluted it. The air, the water, kill off the animals. And I've been hearing a lot of things, other things that is, is news to me too, that you, what you've been doing. To the wells, how you been killing the wells, dragging the wells out of the sea and beating them to death, man. <laughs> like I say, everything you've done, everything you've done shall fall upon your own head. Everything you've done to us and to the earth and to the animals, we're gonna do back to you. Yeah, we're gonna do it back to you. Taking the well out of the earth and out of the sea and beating it to death, man. That's that's. Let's get to a precept. Psalms 2 and 8 says, Ask of me and I shall give thee the heathen for mine enemies. Ask of me and I shall give thee, let me take my time to save this one. This has got to be one of my favorites. Psalms 2 and 8 says, Ask of me and I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance and the utmost part of the earth for thy possession. We're going to take back this earth and we're going to look after this earth. And I just I was just even thinking, man, if, if we was to get if all the ease, if the most I was should just make all the ease, just snap his finger like Thanos, just snap his finger like Thanos, right now and all the ease just collapsed. <laughs> that would be a, that would be beautiful. But I'm even just thinking about thinking about the long-term benefits as not just the short-term benefits, but the long-term benefits. The earth will flourish even now. And if even if your whole never come back, if you was to just snap your finger like Thanos. If Yahushua was to just stab his finger like Thanos up there in the heavens and they all just drop dead, the food will be back to a better state to take the curse off the earth. Because you took, you took the main problem, the main problem of the planet out of the earth if you used to just put them to death now. And the air will be clear again. No more um, chemtrails. The earth will blossom because the earth is under a curse while they're alive. The animals will be happy. The trees will start singing. The birds will be singing louder. The trees will become to grow, blossom better. Everything will flourish if you were to just put the ease. The so-called white man, if you just snap your finger right now, Yahshua Allah, Yahweh Hashim Yahshua, and make them go, this earth will be a better place even now. But I'm just, I'm just talking through this in the spirit right now. But me saying that is just talking in the spirit and that because that would be that's true ask of me and i shall give thee the heathen for thine for thine inheritance and the utmost parts of the earth for thy possession yeah and we're asking and we know we, we're getting it and there's nothing you can do to try and stop it is thou shalt break them with a rod of iron thou shalt dash them to pieces like a pot of vessel call on your by shimmy or shy you understand so that the point is really made, yeah. From rags to riches, from amnesia to conquerors, and we're coming into that time now. From sick to healthy, from poor to wealthy. Let me read this last precept to end off the video. The point is more than made. First Chronicle, First Chronicles, sixteen and twenty-four, and this is the this is the admonition. Admonishment, admonishing, I'm ad admonishing to all the Akim to do this. 
through the power and spirit of Yahweh Shimei Shai and, and admonition to all the Akim. Declare his glory among the heathen. And that's what we're doing. We know we're doing this. His marvelous works among all nations. For great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. He also is to be feared among all gods. For all the gods of this people are idols, but the Lord made the heavens. Kala Yahawa Bashim Yoshai. Tawada to Yahweh Bashim Yoshai for giving me the spirit to do this video. Kwam Yashwala, rise up to the house of David. And for everything the wicked have done to us, past, present, and future, is now falling upon their own head. All praises. We out.